Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Honey, I Joined a Cult. I have been enjoying this game, and I hope you've enjoyed watching me. It has, it just came out in early access probably about a month ago now, so a little rough around the edges, hopefully seeing progress as they continue forward. They were saying we should see some content updates before the end of the year, so we're really excited about that. Today... Chief Dennis Tooth McScrubbers and I have quite a bit planned for you guys. Uh, first, we want to go ahead and build that contract room, which we finished researching at the end of the last episode. And then off the screen, I researched a couple things. Uh, the Pool of Revelations, I'd like to build that. Uh, I went ahead and built the Altar of Um I'm not sure here, I'll pull it up for you guys. Not sure how to spell it. But uh, there it is right there. It gives you a really large prestige boost to the dental office. So I would like to expand the dental office to make sure we're able to capture all that prestige in there. Additionally, I would like to build a garden to Tooth McScrubbers, kind of behind the dental office. So I'm thinking we expand the dental office, you know, maybe up to about here, widen it a little bit, and then a nice garden back here with his a golden statue, some benches, and some bushes. I think that'll really make the area pop. Did a little bit of beautification down here off screen. It looks pretty cool. Some benches and lights and move some rocks and bushes around. Uh, and then the last thing I want to do with you guys is go ahead and upgrade the bathroom. I researched bathroom upgrade 2. So we should be able to upgrade that. And I want to expand that this way. And I'm thinking of putting the contract room right here. Lastly in this episode, I know we're doing so much. So you guys got to stick around. I want to go ahead and do the Leviathan Cross mission. Actually, let's just go ahead and do that now and send our uh, dentist to acquire that item for us. So let's go ahead and read up on that. Uh, you, have now, you now have access to special darkness item acquisition missions. I received word of a number of ancient grand relics that are somewhere in this city. Possession of these objects will not only deepen our connection with those that whisper from the darkness, but they'll make for great decoration in our compound. I demand that you send our most trusted dentist to retrieve these objects for me. Well, Chief Dennis Tooth McScrubbers, I will certainly help you with that. So I went ahead and did the covert ops to make sure we have 100% success on this. Um, we catch a lot of heat, get some influence, faith, and some darkness, and our dentists do get a lot of bonus points there. So let's go ahead and assign some folks to do this. Looks like we need the last three skills, improv, social, and public speaking. So Amanda, you will be joining the mission. And how about Amy Leaf? And who else do we want to send? Um... Zo Kappa, and so that's three, and then let's go ahead and send, uh, we can send Amy Freeney as well. Ooh, 0% chance of success? Okay, maybe we won't be doing that mission right now, so let's just back out and pretend that didn't happen. Let's go ahead and go to the build menu here, and we're going to expand the foundation over here. Perfect. And we're going to drop down here, let's go to walls. And we'll drag this wall here, and then let's go to, well, delete wall, and we'll delete this wall here so we can expand our bathroom. So rooms and bathroom, and expand it up to there. Perfect. Look how big and beautiful that bathroom is. So we're going to go ahead and go to objects here, switch over to bathroom. There we go. So we unlock the shower insta power head. And the sink insta flow, and I'm assuming there's an insta flush toilet. Oh god, those are quite expensive. Uh, so we'll let our people finish up in there. Oh, someone was injured. And then we'll go ahead and do some rebuilding of our bathroom. Looks like they're getting ready to go to the sermon. So once Hannah's finished up, we will. There she goes. So let's go ahead and pause the game here. We're just going to go ahead and delete all of this because we don't need it anymore, right? Let's just delete all that. I know that prestige is dropping down, but we'll get that squared away in a second. So we're going to go ahead and let's pick the, where is it at? The InstaFlow sink uh, replenishes the hygiene and dentist after they use a toilet for prestige. So let's go ahead and do, um, let's do one, two, three, four on each side like that. Oops, we'll have to move that one here in a second. So let's go to move object. There we go. Uh, actually, let's just make it a nice round five. So Insta Flow Sync, we'll rotate it there and rotate it there. We still got $92,000, so we're doing fine on money. 
And then we're gonna go to the Insta Flush toilet. And let's do, um, let's skip a square and then we'll just do all the way to that back wall. Perfect. And then let's go to the showers, Insta Power Shower. And then we'll rotate the door so it's facing that way. And we will put that all the way back there. Ooh, that ate almost $50,000. But look at that beautiful bathroom we now have for our dentist. Let's go ahead and add a little decor in there. So let's go decor. And what are you guys thinking? Maybe, let's make sure the lighting's good. Yeah, the lighting's not very good in there. Okay, so let's just drop that there. We'll drop one there. So how about every two? So one, two, uh, one, two, boom, one, two. To, ooh, that's a, oh, I was doing squares there. Uh, okay, so let's just go here, and then we'll put one back there. All right, that's a little more well lit. Let's just put some along on the side. Perfect, that's a little better for everyone so they can actually see why they're in the bathroom. And I wanna make sure we got a mirror in here, so we'll just get, take two tall mirrors, or three tall mirrors, and let's plop them right there. And then let's go ahead, it's the bathroom, so I don't wanna put any wood in here. We'll put some stone pedestals in here, and maybe we can throw some objects on there. How about we put a, we can put some plants. Uh, they should be able to go on these. I guess they can't go on the tables. Uh, okay, fine, then we won't do that. So let's get ourselves, do we have anything else we can put on there? Some lava lamps maybe? Well, I guess those won't be going there, so anyways, I think that's a pretty beautiful bathroom. And that should now satisfy all of our dentists and their dental needs. The sermon should be finishing up here any second. Yep, beautiful, we can close that out. So as I was saying, I wanna go ahead and build the contract room. So let's go ahead and read up what Tooth McScriber has on that. You can now build the contract room. This will provide us with a facility to allow followers to sell their souls to Asclepius. When a follower signs a contract, they are agreeing to sell their soul for wealth and good luck. It's all fun and games until it's time to pay up. Fortunately for all of us, all that extra money goes straight into our pockets. It's a pretty sweet deal, minus the horrific screams and the leftover skeletons. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's go to the contract room and... Uh, that's bugged out for some reason. All right, let's just find the contract room here and we'll build that. Where we got, where we got it. Pool of Revelations, contract room, beautiful. So let's go ahead and select that. We're gonna plug that right there. So we need the contract desk, contract tear, and contract fireplace. And then we'll have to get those upgrades in a little bit. Um, so let's do, let's do some nice wooden doors right in the middle. Yeah, that looks pretty even there, perfect. And then we're gonna go back to objects and let's get ourselves some flooring and we'll bring those pavers right like that. And then we'll just do some lights outside, just some simple lights, the up lights. Boom and boom. All right, so now let's go ahead and put the objects in the room uh, as I blow by contract room. All right, so we need a contract chair so we can build one. And we'll have it, can I rotate it like this? Uh, it is gonna be a little off. All right, so we'll put him right there. And then the contract desk, we can only have one as well. Um, so I guess maybe something like this, make it really ominous and foreboding. And then the fireplace, we can put there. All right, so let's go ahead and put some decor in. Decor, decor, here we go, all right. And how about a nice big old stone table? Oh, that was a stone stools we were putting in. Ah, well, those stools will be fine there. So let's just go ahead and put, we'll put a table in here, here, and here, and then let's just move the fireplace over one. Square that off like that, beautiful. All right, and then maybe some potted flowers. Eh, let's go potted plants. Put one in each corner of the room, just like that. How are we doing? Yeah, we got pretty good prestige in that room. Fantastic. And then sign, um, assign a follower to the contract room to sign a contract would generate three times as much money and influence in therapy rooms after which the follower is eternally embraced by Asclepius. Well, who do we want? Who do we want to have sign a contract? Let's go with who was at the top of the list. Um, Amy, you're kind of towards the top of the list. So we're going to be having you sign the contract. So let's see if she's, she's walking to the contract desk. 
Now let's see what happens here. Here she comes, and let's see what we do. Ah, Chief Tennis Tooth McScrubbers. Unlimited power can be yours, and just here you will see you are fully covered. I can't wait to test. Uh, congratulations, you are finished. I already feel like someone is watching over me. Okay, so she signed the contract, so now we're going to get a lot of money from her. Uh, but she cannot become a follower, or excuse me, can become a dentist later. So that's okay. High roller contract. Duration, 35 hours. Okay, so we already read that. Oh, we didn't read the bottom, though. Uh, scared scripts to... Oh, sacred scripts to bind in name of blood. They're signed. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, so she is now signed to a contract. Ooh, we got someone that's ready for an upgrade. Who we got? Amanda Voigt, let's go ahead and increase your intelligence and your social there. And oh, she's average, so we got another level or two for her to go. Fantastic. All right, so we have, so far, we've built ourselves the bathroom, built ourselves the contract room. Um, since it is tooth scrubbers, maybe let's go ahead and move. Uh, move object. And we'll just put that right there. And then let's give him a door. Do we have any scary doors? Eh, we could do a cell door. No, I don't want to do that. Let's just do a regular old wooden door there. All right, so he can go in and out from the contract room to his bedroom and into his divine sanctum. Nice. All right, so let's just go ahead and read Dark Sermons because that also has to do with upgrading uh, the dental office here. So let's just pop this up. You can now hold Dark Sermons. Our prayer shall be heard. Whispers from the void guide me to the next step in our collective journey to salvation. A Dark Sermon will generate theme points which are added into your total darkness score. Increasing your darkness score will allow you to gain access to new rooms, missions, and objects. Okay, so let's go ahead and sermon. I already have it set to darkness. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and expand the dental office. And let's just go foundation. I want to pause for a second. So if I want to do two away, so I guess I'm really only expanding it one. And then let's just go up to here. Yeah, that looks pretty good, and we'll do that like that. And then let's go to rooms, and let's find the dental office all the way down here. And let's just expand that like that. Fantastic. We're going to switch over to info. Good. So now we have everything prestige-wise. And let's just go ahead and move some of these objects around and make this the best room we can make it. So we'll put that there. We're going to move our table back here. Drop those there, fantastic. Bring that here. And let's do the same thing on this side. Um, oops, so I just want the table. And then we'll move the potted plant there, our monolith there. And then we can put that there. And then will this center? It will center, that's nice, nice, nice. All right, and then let's go ahead and move this back to here. That looks pretty good. Drop that there. Now I'm thinking maybe, do I want this like this? And then like that, I guess. And then let's go ahead and space these out a little bit better. So we'll move this one over, and then we'll move, um, move this one over like this. And let's go up like that, and then like that. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Move that there, put that there, up one, space that 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 like that perfect okay so let's go ahead and let that play for a second let's have these people move around so we can see a little bit better great all right so prestige is up there what do we got a prestige of 52 um what do we want to do to make this a little better we can do something maybe some doors on the side here no let's keep the doors like this let's go ahead and just put in some new benches maybe another set of benches so let's go to the dental office and then, or excuse me, pews. Let's put in some more comfortable pews here and we'll spin that around and we'll put that here and here. And then let's go to decor. Scroll back up like that, decor. And then maybe we use potted plants all the way along, just like this. Are we gaining any prestige? Not really, yeah, but it makes it look nice. Let's just go ahead and do this. Money-wise, we're still doing fine. That, that, 
Perfect. Okay, so I think that dental office is looking pretty good now. It's a lot bigger. We're getting all that prestige from the altar in the back. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, so I'm thinking back here we do ourselves the garden uh, to tooth scrubbers. So let's go to outside and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the golden statue I want to install of him. Mm, and maybe we put it right, let's put it right here. And then let's go ahead and put some trees. I want to put some nice oak trees flanking it. I don't want him to be shadowing him, but flanking him. We'll put one there. And then let's put, so that one was one, two, like that. And then we'll go ahead and do our paving stones. Uh, let's do a row across like this. And then we'll do two so everyone can come up and see him. And of course, we're going to put some flowers next to him because he is just a vibrant light and everything wants to grow around him. So we'll do that. And then maybe some bushes. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. All right, perfect. Oh, we got, we could put two more bushes in. So we'll steal, let's steal these two bushes. And this bush here, great. And then how about some rocks? Maybe some rocks around him. We'll put a rock there and then another rock there. Now we need some lights to light up Tooth McScrubbers. And let's get the, oops, we don't need that anymore. Let's get some up lights. And how about here? here and then pretty well lit and then can we put i guess we could put two behind him there we go those kind of hide that Ooh, i like the way he glows in the light that's pretty cool now let's do let's do ourselves a little more seating area so let's just drop down like this and then there were some outdoor benches and i want people to be able to come and just be in his presence, be in Tooth McScrubber's presence. So let's put a bench here, a bench here, and then we'll do a bench here and here, and then let's do some nice lamp posts there, and then at the entrance as well. Yeah, it looks pretty good there. All right, and then, ooh, a fountain? A male and female fountain. Well, of course they gotta be all right, so if he's facing left, so we can do that, and then we'll do the female fountain over here facing the opposite way. Now they need more lights around them as well, so we'll just go ahead and get ourselves some up lights, and then let's drop one here. Um, actually, no, let's do them like that. And then we'll do two around the female statue, and then let's just go ahead and move this object, and do I need them around the contract room? No. Um, where else can we put some up lights? Okay, we'll put them right here, and then we'll do another up light right there. Our garden's coming together. It's looking pretty cool. I want to get some more flowers in here, so let's go back to move object, and let's put some flowers here, and another one there. All right, that's a pretty good start to the garden. I like that. I might spruce that up a little bit more. Let's just, um... Yeah, look at that. That's very nice. I like that. Nice little statue to Tooth McScrubbers. Some benches to sit and enjoy the little calm area. Uh-oh. Is Amy or Hannah going to use it? Nope, she's just going to walk through it. Ooh, we need to replace those tiles, though. So let's go back to floor. And then paving tile one. And then let's just go ahead and replace all of those. Perfect. All right. Fantastic, fantastic indeed. All right, so we've got the dental office upgraded and expanded. We got our bathroom upgraded and expanded. Contract room is in and ready to go. We already got one person signed on to the contract. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the pool of revelations. So let's just build a foundation over here next to the discombobulation chamber. And I'm, I'm thinking... Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Let's just go up one more. Well, no, I'd rather have it equal with that, even though I'm off one. Um, yeah, that's fine. So then let's go ahead and plop a door in, and we'll plop that door right there. And then let's go to rooms here and get ourselves the Pool of Revelations. Where was it at? I just blew by it, didn't I? Shout out if you see it. All right, dentist. 
Where is the Pool of Revelations? Infernal Heat. Meditation Studio. Here we go. Pool of Revelations. So we're going to go ahead and build that right there. So we need to get a Pool of Revelations and a Pool of Revelations control panel. All right. So we'll go to objects here. Pool of Revelations. There we go. All right, Pool of Revelations. Let's put that ooh, right in the middle of the room. And then we'll just put the control panel right by the door. Perfect. So someone can come in and uh, it reveals their traits. All right, so we need to go back to objects, not rooms. What am I doing? Clicking on that. All right, and let's go outdoors or floor. We'll get the appropriate paving tile in like that. And then let's get some lighting outside the door lights and get those up lights again one there and one there all right now spruce that up but i want to see someone use it here so let's get now do i have to send someone to it or i'm assuming they just kind of go right yeah i'm assuming they just go to the pool of revelations hmm. all right while we wait for that let's go ahead and go research so we got the sermon skill boost Let's see what we want to start researching next. We could research the infirmary medical book, fix drill, upgrade to the yeah, med meditation studio, influence camp, enhance mood boost. Okay, let's go ahead and do enhance mood boost so we can get the meat and vegetables. So let's go ahead and start researching that. Great. All right, so someone is in the pool of revelations, Matthew Riley. Uh, let's see if we've revealed his traits. Not yet. Is he being revelized? I don't know what the proper word is. No, nothing yet. Okay. We need someone to come back. One of our dentists. Here they go. Let's see. Is he going to be... Let's go here. So he's at 50. So that's just going to slowly go up here and we'll see what he has. All right. So it looks like Penelope Cunningham is going to be the first person to complete the ritual in the Pool of Revelations. So as you can see, she has many unknown traits and she's at 96 out of 100 completion of Pool of Revelations. So let's go ahead and have her finish that up and let's see what traits we get from her. 108 out of 110, let's take a peek here. So she is of very poor quality, she is brooding, she hates the pinball machine, she's very sleepy, and she's kind of strange and is a petty criminal. Well, she will not make a good dentist, so let's go ahead and have Penelope here. Um, can we not have her sign a contract? Or do I, oh, I gotta go back to the contract room. I think she'd be a good person to sign a contract because uh, she ain't ever gonna become a, a dental recruit here, a dentist. So let's go, I think, how do we do it? Oh, that's right, room, sign, a sign follower. All right, Penelope, where are you at? Here she is. All right, she's going to sign herself a contract. And then that will be the end of Penelope's story. Here comes Tooth McScrubbers. They'll sign the contract together so she can never become a dentist. But I, th I think that's okay. I think we'll, we'll come out ahead on that one here. So followers claimed heat increase. Ooh, we do get a little bit of heat increase when we do that, but that's okay. All right, so she's finished. Oh, she's going through his bedroom too. That's not very nice. But I guess she did sign that contract. Um, someone else fulfilled their contract, so let's see what we have to say over here. A follower's contract has just been fulfilled. I'll be honest, that scared me a little. That's why you should always read the fine print. Remember that there are consequences to your actions or our actions, and people will start to get suspicious, so keep an ear to the ground and don't generate too much heat. We are at 96 heat. It does has gone up just a little bit, but that is okay. Well, we didn't get finish the Leviathan mission because uh, we don't have enough strong dentists, but that's okay. We, we got the Pool of Revelations built. We expanded the dental office, built a beautiful garden to Chief Dentist Tooth McScrubbers, upgraded and expanded the bathroom, and got the contract room up and running and have had two people sign it. So I would consider that a win here for the Fellowship of Friendly Foss. Thank you so much for coming out and enjoying this video with me today. Like it if you've enjoyed the content. Comment on down below if there's anything I can do to improve it. Audio quality, video quality, commentary quality, anything like that. I would appreciate your feedback, both positive and negative. And lastly, if you've really enjoyed it and you want to get all this great Honey, I Joined a Cult, cult content on time and in an orderly fashion, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Again, thank you so much for coming out and we'll see you in the next Honey, I Joined a Cult video.